everyone let us start with the revision of topic SYGC economics micro economics well as we know the study of economics is broadly divided into two parts that is microeconomics and macroeconomics is topic mein hum janna chahenge about microeconomics the first question here is what do you mean by microeconomics what is its definition and features well economics ke do branches hain micro aur macro jo microeconomics hai ya micro word hai wo aata hai greek word micros se means small study of individual units of the economy macro word jo hum baad mein dekhenge macroeconomics mein greek word macros means large study of economy as a whole coming about microeconomics as i just said it is derived from the greek word micros means small study of individual units of economy it is that branch which studies economic behavior of a individual unit chahe wo ek person ho household ho ya firm ho it is study of one unit rather than all taken together aisa kaha jata hai ki it is study of tree rather than the forest it gives a worm's point of view study rather than bird's point of view this was first introduced and developed uh, uh, sorry first introduced by professor ragnar frisch of oslo university in 1933 which was later on developed by professor alfred marshall this is as far its meaning is concerned now let us talk about its definition the definition of microeconomics is given by professor kenneth bolden he defines microeconomics as study of particular firm particular household individual prices which is income individual industries and particular commodities this definition we have to memorize study of particular firm <coughs> particular household individual prices which is income individual industries and particular commodities one who economist morik dob has defined microeconomics as microscopic study of the economy aisa jaise ke microscope mein se dekhne ke jaisa jab hum microscope mein se dekhenge to chote chote organism organism hame milenge ye organism jaise amoeba wagera nahi hote waise hi iska manna hai is economist ka ki tum puri economy ko jab microscope se dekhoge to individual unit ko jo tum study karoge wohi aapka microscopic view ya microeconomics kaha ja sakta hai well let us talk about the features of microeconomics as far as features is concerned there are 10 points we can make mnemonic code word to understand it in a more better manner so i will give you a mnemonic code word for the same well i have made a code word we are talking about features of microeconomics the code word can be saas aur sasur parose badi lassi aur mast makhan paratha 10 points isme jayenge aur ye answer aapka aaram se ho jayega saas aur sasur parose badi lassi aur mast makhan paratha we are going to study that along with the points here studies individual unit for example i said saas means microeconomics ek ek individual unit ko alag se study karta hai as we said it does not studies economy as a whole it is concerned with individual unit or stands for allocation of resources microeconomics is concerned with allocating resources between individual units it is not concerned with the whole economy sasur stands for slicing method microeconomics economics ko break karke understand karta hai break karke padhta hai na hi ke jod jod ke balki tod tod ke each individual unit it studies independently parose partial equilibrium partial equilibrium kya hota hai economics mein equilibrium ko do part mein classify kiya gaya hai ya do type mein partial aur general microeconomics partial equilibrium approach leta hai where all economic theories start with the phrase other things being equal sab kuch theek hoga to ye particular law chalega law of demand law of supply that we have done so it is based on partial equilibrium theory 
that means other things being equal this is a point paro se badi lassi to badi will stands for i will say based on certain assumptions microeconomics theory mein kai assumptions hain which we are going to see in the later part of this topic like full employment no government intervention etc so there are many assumption on this on which this theory is based lassi will stands for limited scope the study of microeconomics is very limited in its scope it studies only individual units as we have said or stands for analysis of market structure as we know in economics there are different types of market like monopoly perfect competition monopolistic competition how it studies the market structures are going to be studied are actually studied in microeconomics badi uh, lassi or mast makkhan paratha mast will stand for microscopic approach as we have already talked it deals with individual unit makkhan stands for marginalism principle in economics this principle is widely used in microeconomic study we will get to know various terms like marginal cost marginal revenue marginal utility you are just i would like to say this much that the term marginal means additional like for example majority the utility obtained from consumption of one additional unit marginal cost the addition to cost made by producing one more unit of output marginal revenue the revenue obtained by selling one more unit of output so we are going to study here the principle of marginalism and it's a price theory paratha aa jayega aapka ek code word price theory how the prices of individual units are determined that we were talking just now so in other words you can go through with this code word features of microeconomics saas aur sasur paro se badi lassi aur mast makkhan paratha just recap along with me you will tell me the words here saas studies individual unit or allocation of resources sasur slicing method parose partial equilibrium badi based on certain assumption lassi limited scope or analysis of market allocation of resources must principle of marginalism makkhan microscopic approach you can say this up down and paratha price theory so you should be very aware about the mnemonics technique and you have to write in detail about this this is what is the features of microscopic micro microeconomics are let us go further now let us try to understand the scope and subject matter of microeconomics a very important question here scope and subject matter of microeconomics i like to give a chart here to understand it in a more better manner scope and subject matter precisely now first i will talk about the subject matter here this i will show you by way of a diagram which will make us to understand it in a more better manner well let's talk about the subject matter here precisely ye pure ko hum understand karne ke liye isko teen parts mein break kar sakte hain maine code word banaya hai vada dosa and x this means the subject matter of microeconomics is basically divided into three parts it deals with theory of value ye bhi aa gaya theory of distribution ye aapka d aa gaya and theory of economic welfare jo hamara e aa gaya theory of value theory of distribution and theory of economic welfare let us understand this more in detail theory of value kya hai ye theory of value i'll just tell you now theory of value basically deals with product pricing how the prices of product are determined जिसमें आप थियोरी ऑफ डिमांड थियोरी ऑफ प्रोड्यूसर्स बिहेवियर की बात करेंगे हम जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल मार्केट में कोई पर्टिकुलर चीज का प्राइस डिटरमाइन होता है लेट अस से पोटेटोस इट इज ऑल बेस्ड ऑन डिमांड एंड सप्लाई तो प्रोडक्ट का प्राइस डिसाइड होता है बाय डिमांड एंड सप्लाई फोर्सेस थियोरी ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन डील्स विद फैक्टर प्राइसिंग 
हाउ प्राइसेस ऑफ फैक्टर्स आर डिटरमाइन फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इकोनॉमिक्स में हम जानते हैं टोटल चार फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन होते हैं लैंड लेबर कैपिटल और इंटरप्राइज लैंड को मिलता है रेंट लेबर को वेचेस कैपिटल को इंटरेस्ट और इंटरप्राइज को प्रॉफिट ये भी डिसाइड होता है बाय द फोर्सेस ऑफ डिमांड एंड सप्लाई थियोरी ऑफ इकोनॉमिक वेलफेयर डील्स विद इकोनॉमिक वेलफेयर इट टॉक्स अबाउट थ्री एफिशियंसीज एफिशियंसी इन प्रोडक्शन एफिशियंसी इन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड ओवरऑल इकोनॉमिक ओवरऑल इकोनॉमिक एफिशियंसी I will just explain it by the notes here. You can check it out. Theory of value or prices are determined, just as we said. उसमें आपका consumer behavior, producer behavior और price determination आ जाएगा. Theory of distribution में चार आ रहे हैं: rent, wages, interest और profit. And economic welfare पे जैसे मैंने कहा, the three efficiencies आ जाती हैं. Microeconomics में साथ ही साथ scope में हम ये कह सकते हैं कि कुछ questions पूछे जाते हैं. Uh, I mean to say the main question that are asked by economists here are what goods are to be produced and in what quantities who will produce them how how the wealth will be distributed and how resources will be allocated all these questions are studied in the scope of microeconomics let us proceed further and let us understand the importance and usefulness of microeconomics well लेट एस नाउट टॉक अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंस एंड यूजफुलनेस ये जो माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स हम पढ़ते हैं तो इससे क्या हम अंडरस्टैंड करते हैं क्या समझते हैं ये हम जानना चाहेंगे बाय दिस आंसर वेल लेट मी कम टू दिस नाउ इंपॉर्टेंस एंड यूजफुलनेस ऑफ माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स वेल इसका भी हम कुडवर्ड बना सकते हैं लेट एस से ये क्वेश्चन अभी हम जो करने जा रहे हैं इंपॉर्टेंस एंड यूजफुलनेस ऑफ माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स अमरेला इज विथ पापा बिल्कुल डरना मत लेट एस ए रेनी सीजन है इट्स रेनिंग हैवीली यू हैव फॉर्गोट टू ब्रेक ब्रिंग यू अमरेला पापा हैज कम टू कलेक्ट यू एंड ही हैज ब्रॉट अमरेला अलॉन्ग विथ हिम अमरेला इज विथ पापा बिल्कुल डरना मत सी हाउ वी को रिलेट दिस विथ आर आंसर वेल द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज यूजफुल टू द गवर्नमेंट येस For government, it is very important as the government can decide about import, export, about taxation, about demand, supply, about prices to be determined. So no doubt, it is very useful to the government. So ये हमारा कोड बन रहा है Amrela. The government decide कर सकती है various policies, taxation policies, import, export. और वैसे भी वो second point में आ जाएगा. That is if that stands for is अपना international trade and public finance. Microeconomics helps us to understand international trade and public finance. How the prices are going to be determined. This is what we can study here. With that means working of free market. Your free market does not means के free में मिलेगा. Free market means जहाँ demand और supply अपना role खुद play करेगी. Government will not interfere in the working of the economy. So prices of various things are determined by the forces of demand and supply without government intervention. PAPA stands for <clears throat> price determination and allocation of resources. In this market, the price determination and allocation of resources are made by the market itself. As I said to you, the forces of demand and supply. Microeconomics is basis of welfare economics. Amrila is with Papa. Bilkul dar na mat. As I said, basis of welfare economics, as just we have seen in the previous answer, it is concerned with economic welfare. Dar na mat. Decision making. Microeconomics helps us, you can say, producer, consumer, to make decisions. The producer will decide what to produce, how much to produce, kya price pe produce karna hai. Consumer will decide what to consume, how much to consume. Model building. It deals with model building. How will I explain this? Well, microeconomics में छोटे individual problems होते हैं। उन problems को study करके, उनको analyze करके, उनके solutions निकाले जा सकते हैं। In fact, overall small problems को understand करके ही government macro problems को understand कर पाएगी। And accordingly, it can frame models or policies to solve major economic problems. 
like for example unemployment poverty etc so with understanding of microeconomics major economic problems can be solved by building models and finding solution to those problems so the point is amrila is with papa bilkul dharna mat useful to government is international trade and public finance with working of free market papa allocation of resources bilkul basis of welfare dharna decision making mat model building fine now let us understand distinguish between individual problem and national problem ye distinguish exam mein aaya hai well individual problem is concerned with satisfaction of individual want and national problem is concerned with satisfaction of community's want individual problem ka maksad hai maximization of personal welfare mera fayda hona chahiye national problem maximization of socio economic welfare samaj ka fayda hona chahiye let us take example le lete hain mujhe bhook lag rahi hai mujhe nashta karna hai breakfast karna hai main ye soch raha hu ki main vada pav khau ke samosa pav khau my individual want my problem i will talk about it as such i will try to solve my problem it is concerned with personal welfare but let us say for example indian government decide kar rahi hai ke kya pakistan ke sath war kare ke na kare kya narmada dam banaye ke na banaye ab to ban chuka hai but fir bhi so it is concerned or talking about economy as a whole desh ka bhala kaise ho socio economic welfare individual problem allocation of resources individual decision नेशनल प्रॉब्लम एलोकेशन ऑफ रिसोर्स गवर्नमेंट डिसीजन या मैं भी डिसाइड करूंगा कि मैं पैसा कैसे यूज करूंगा या गवर्नमेंट डिसाइड करेगी कि वो बजट या रिसोर्स कैसे यूज करेगी इट इज सॉल्व बाय फैमिली बजट और इंडिविजुअल बजट एंड इट इज सॉल्व बाय गवर्नमेंट बजट वेरी गुड नाउ लेट इज ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट वॉट आर द एजम्शन और फीचर्स ऑफ माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स fall uh, what are the assumptions i am going to talk here about microeconomics okay <clears throat> uh well faluda picker nachi puri public code word bana sakte hain faluda picker nachi puri public let's see iske code word ke sath chalte hain it is assume that is market mein full employment hai full employment ka matlab ye hua ki koi unemployed nahi hai well ये हुआ फालुदा वेल तो फर्स्ट पॉइंट पीकर इट इज अज्यूम कि देर इज परफेक्ट मोबिलिटी ऑफ फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन दिस इज योर सेकेंड पीकर फालुदा पीकर नाची पूरी पब्लिक एज वी आर टेलिंग यर वेल सो परफेक्ट मोबिलिटी ऑफ फैक्टर्स मतलब फैक्टर्स आराम से एक जगह से दूसरी जगह मूव हो सकते हैं लेबर कैपिटल एंड सो नाची नो गवर्नमेंट इंटरवेंशन गवर्नमेंट मार्केट में इंटरवेंट नहीं करेगी बायर्स सेलर्स कंज्यूमर्स आप लोग आपस में डिसाइड करो गवर्नमेंट विल नॉट इंटरफियर इन द वर्किंग ऑफ द मार्केट प्योर कैपिटलिज्म पूरी वेल कैपिटलिज्म एक स्टडी ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स है इकोनॉमिक मॉडल है जहां पर पूरा कंज्यूमर का राज माना जाता है इन अदर वर्ड कैपिटलिज्म इज अ economic structure you can say where the consumer is the king of the market all decisions are taken by the consumer so we assume this here and public will stand for perfect competition where perfect competition topic number 6 mein detail mein aata hai where uske khud ke apne assumptions hote hain large number of seller buyers no government intervention there is freedom of entry and exit there is a single price and all that so ye panch assumption hote hain microeconomics ke बट ये मैं जरूर कहूंगा कि इन रियल लाइफ दीज एजम्शन कैन नीवर बी सेटिस्फाइड दीज आर थियोरिटिकल एजम्शन विच वी आर लुकिंग सो वी कैन ऑल्सो राइट दैट कि ये थियोरिटिकल एजम्शन हैं रियल लाइफ में कभी पूरे नहीं होते ओके फाइन लेट इज प्रोसीड फॉर द नाउ लेट इज सी ए क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द हिस्टोरिकल रिव्यू ऑफ माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स दिस इज मोर ऑफ अ हिस्ट्री सिविक्स आंसर बट विल हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस हिस्टोरिकल रिव्यू क्या है वेल well, थोड़ी पुरानी बातें यहां पर होगी 
माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स हिस्टोरिकल प्यू वर्ड से करें तो इट्स रिलेटिवली ट्रेडिशनल अप्रोच ये क्लासिकल इकोनॉमिस्ट के एरा में जाता है जब इकोनॉमिक स्टडी स्टार्ट हुई थी इकोनॉमिक साइंस स्टार्ट हुई थी एडम स्मिथ जो फादर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स थे उन्होंने ये फाउंड किया है उन्होंने ये अपनी बुक वेल्थ ऑफ नेशन 1776 में इसके बारे में मेंशन किया है हाउ प्राइस इज द रिटर्माइन ये आप और भी कई इकोनॉमिस्ट डेविड रिकार्डो एंड जीएस मिल की राइटिंग में देख सकेंगे इन अदर वर्ड लेटर ऑन इट वॉज फर्दर डेवलप्ड एंड पॉपुलराइज बाई डॉक्टर एल्फ्रेड मार्शल उन्होंने अपनी बुक प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स 1890 में इसके बारे में लिखा है एंड उन्होंने ज्यादातर प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मार्जिनलिज्म यूज किया है दैट इज एज फार एज द हिस्टोरिकल रिव्यू इज कंसर्न वेर इट वॉज बॉर्न वेर इट वॉज ओरिजिनली डेवलप एंड ऑल दो स्टफ फाइन लेट एस टॉक अबाउट सम एग्री डिस विच इज नथिंग बट रिपीटेशन ऑफ क्वेश्चन आंसर माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स आर बेस्ड ऑन एजम्पन जस्ट नाउ वी हैव डन दैट ये इट इज ट्रू and we have done the <coughs> code word also faluda picker nachi puri public where we have seen the points relating to microeconomics assumptions are unrealistic as i just told the assumptions can <coughs> not be satisfied in real life no government intervention and other assumptions like we have just done now that is pure capitalism full employment ye real me satisfy nahi ho sakte government feels that microeconomics is useful yes here we are going to write the same answer that is usefulness of microeconomics and specially concentrating about import export government policies and public finance microeconomics studies individual income yes the meaning and definition part helps us to understand this microeconomics is known as price theory yes where we talked about how prices are determined how prices of various factors and goods are determined so it's a very simple and a very small topic microeconomics happy reading and this comes brings us to the end of this topic thank you